If anybody's in here, I apologize. I'm just posting a comment. One second. How are you? Hey, cousin, how are you? Hola, mami. Yay. All right. So people are coming in. Uh, this is going to be a really great live. I'm so excited about this one because I used to talk this too, you know, I used to say this all the time and talk about high vibrations and electric foods and stuff like that. And I'm just, uh, I think it's just time that we really just have that conversation and we talk about it, you know? All right, so let me see. While you guys are in, just share this for me with anybody that you think it can benefit. Uh, can you all hear me? Just let me know if you can hear me. I have like a little bit of background noise, but I don't know if it's going to interfere with anything, and I, I pray it doesn't. So just let me know if you can hear me. I really want to play some music. I know I say that every live, but I really do. Yay, okay. You can hear me. Sharing and yes. Okay. okay, perfect. All right, yay. I don't want to be like shouting in this thing like the reason why, <laughs> you know, so. All right, perfect. Well, let me go ahead and get through the housekeeping and just let everybody know what I'm doing, what I'm on. Uh, I know that you see me going live all the time and you know, just want to let you know what I'm into. So, housekeeping upcoming lives i do have upcoming lives my goal is if i don't go live every day is to go live every other day or at least three times in the week and the reason for that is because i really want to push this business and self-care synergy message and and specifically right now i'm tr really choosing to press or to push this health message right and the whole point of this health message is to restore harmony not even balance but to restore harmony into the health community because right now it's extremely unbalanced it's extremely uh it's just it's out of it's out of whack and not even just with the vegans you know with, with everybody and everything in between and i just think that's really really important please check the link i will make self-care regulations on sale for 17 dollars right now we are just finishing up the charts and everything like that so please give me a little bit of time most likely until like Monday or so, so I can finish the rest of those charts with my team. And once I get the green light and those those charts are done, then I'm sending out everything uh, to you guys. And you'll be able to, you know, if you already bought the book, I'll give you the, the new charts and everything like that. So don't worry. And the new update to the book. So don't worry. Uh, also, too, I want to let you know that the book is on sale for $17. It normally is $27, but you can get it during this live for $17. It is a book to restore balance or restore harmony to health and also to empower you and to give you power to tune into your own body without doctrine, without dogma, without manipulation. So it's a great ass book. Not just because I wrote it, but because it's a great ass book. So last thing I want to say is just my journey so far. Uh, you know, for those of you who do know me or, or are familiar with me, I used to be a biomechanics uh, well, trainer. I'm still a practitioner, but... I no longer train people so I used to be a biomechanics practitioner and trainer for uh, like seven years a little over seven years and I stopped because of my vegan health issues and so I really decided to pivot into another love of mine and you know I've always been an entrepreneur and things like that however I decided to go into my first love which is real estate I come from a real estate background and uh I just on purpose to go into real estate so I'm getting my real estate license for commercial real estate and uh, you know to be a mover and shaker in that field and also to you know just show you guys my entrepreneurial journey of you know I'm a tour host and my goal with real estate not only is just to be an agent but to also purchase properties and things like that so I just want to take you on my journey of entrepreneurship and what I'm doing I still am 100% into self-care and health 
and as you can see in my title in my, in my profile I'm about business and self-care because as an entrepreneur you need self-care in order to make sure that you are making the right decisions as an entrepreneur I remember when I was vegan and I was like this was like towards the fall of being vegan and you know I'm an entrepreneur and I was a trainer at the time like I said biomechanics but I didn't have any energy I barely could make proper thoughts because I just didn't have the proper nutrition so it really it really stunted my growth as an entrepreneur just because I didn't have the proper nutrition and nutrition is so key when you are an entrepreneur just in general obviously as a human however very much so when you're an entrepreneur and you need to think and be energetic and be willing to put work in right so Without doctrine, dogma, and manipulation. Yeah, so that's what the book is, Self-Care Regulations. That's literally why I wrote the book because I'm biased. I know that. Y'all know that. We all bias in some way. However, you don't have to be dogmatic, right? I'm not dogmatic. I'm biased. And that means I'm open to learn. I'm open to listening. And I just felt like, you know, before this book, it was just so much of what you should do and, and how you should do things. And, we, you know, instead of getting into that, I just, I thought it was better to just let people know like these are the pillars of health that i found as a biomechanic as a practitioner and as a trainer and this is what you can utilize to determine what's working for you and what's not rather than romanticizing something just because you feel some type of way right so it's like get out your feelings and get into reality is it working is it not no matter what you do no matter if you're vegan paleo keto whatever you can use that book and or the chart right the, the chart is available too so you can do that all right so those were the housekeeping. So that was housekeeping. That was everything I wanted to say. Now we're going to get into this tea. Okay. So let me introduce myself. I did before. However, I'm going to do it again. My name is John Yell, traditionally known as Usa Dami Lola. And I am a uh, business and self-care synergist. That's literally like what I, you know, how I describe myself. I'm an, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm really all about sharing tips for business and self-care synergy. I used to, my background in health is I used to train for over seven years in uh, biomechanics, right? And I trained anybody, everybody from the elderly to professional athletes in multiple sports. So that was my background. I was able to watch myself and my clients go through, and I had clients for years, not just a few weeks or a few months. So I got to see my clients go through progressions. Some were vegan, some were not, some back and forth, right? So I have a lot of I have a lot of background in that. Not only that, but I was vegan for about six years, and I also sold and made detoxes. A lot of people don't know that, but I did. I was selling detoxes. I made them as well. I was a part of a company. I wasn't just doing them on my own, but I was a part of a company that was making detoxes. I pressed black seed oil. I used to make that stuff from scratch. Um, we we made other kind of body care products as well. So. I'm very well versed in the vegan community and the health conscious community. You know, I'm very well versed in that. And so it's interesting and funny to me oftentimes when people get on, when people get on in my comments and people don't know my background, they don't know that I was a biomechanics uh, trainer. I'm still a practitioner, but for over seven years, they don't know that I used to, I was a part of a company that made detoxes. I made those detoxes. I sold them. They don't know. I used to press black seed oil and I used to sell that and make all that stuff. They, they have no idea. You don't know I was in a documentary, you know, uh, called The Post-Traumatic Slave Diet, written by my bestie, or, well, produced by my bestie, uh, Miss Boone. They don't, they don't know those things about me, right? They just see me bashing or talking junk about veganism, and they assume I don't know what I'm talking about, and I don't have any background or anything like that, but it's the exact opposite. <laughs> and, and as a matter of fact, I was one of the, I was the only that I'm aware of biomechanics vegan trainer in Atlanta at that time. So there was no one else that was doing biomechanics like me and vegan like me at that time. And that really gave me a nice little plug into the vegan community because everybody wanted to train with me and work with me and all these things, right? So that's just, you know, my background. It's just so you know a little bit about me so you don't think that I'm just some random person with an opinion. That's not true. Everything that I say, I can back up. Everything that I say, I have experience in and I have documented and observed information So. Just know that if you're going to come for me, you better come hard. All right, so topic today is there's no such thing as vibrational and or electric food, right? Man, I remember when I used to promote 
high vibrational food and electric food and all this stuff, right? I was that person that was like, we don't eat. And I saw somebody say this today in the comments, and I just thought it was hilarious, right? <laughs> because I remember saying, we don't eat food for the, for the mineral. We don't eat it for that. We eat it for the, for the sunlight. We eat for light energy. We eat so that it can change our frequency. We, it can raise our frequency, right? We eat so that we can have better thoughts. We eat so that, you know, just all of this stuff that I really just make up. And it sounded good. It sounded deep, right? And I remember being that person and high vibrating foods, you know, foods that give you life and, and, and they're raw, or whatever, all this stuff. I was that person. I was promoting that. I was making videos out here talking that shit. You know what I mean? I was in it. And I just find it hilarious that now when I see it or someone mentions it to me, I'm just like, that makes no sense. It actually, it, it. It doesn't make any sense, and I'll tell you why a little bit later. But first, I want to define high vibrational and or living food and electric food. I want to define that because I don't want to just talk and people are inferring and assuming as I speak, right? So let's define what high vibrational foods are. So I know what the definition on online says, but let's go with what you, I, and everybody else in the comments and on social media is going to say high vibrational foods are. When people say high vibrational foods, and pe please feel free to, you know, put your comment or your, 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 uh, you know, definition or whatever you want of high vibrational foods. Go ahead, put it under there. But I just want to make sure that we understand what I'm speaking about so people don't infer or assume. High vibrational foods, when people say that, they are talking about foods that um, enlighten you, right? Foods that are often not cooked food that foods that are uh you know crown chakra they help you reach your best self they help you hit your highest self you know it's no death right because often death is is associated with low vibration you know they're talking about foods that like i said are raw they're living they're, they're vegetables they're fruits right they're seeds and that kind of stuff that's generally what people mean when they say high vibrating foods they're talking about foods that are not animal foods for the most part, okay? And even some specifically are talking about raw. But then when you go into the uh, when you go into the electric side, right? When you go into electric foods, that's when you get more, I guess, into like the raw thing where people are like, well, it's a living food because it hasn't been cooked because they've watched that brainwashing as documentary or video where they show the tomato. And the tomato before they cook it, and it's got all these little lights on, and then they show the tomato after they cook it, and the, tom the tomato looks dead, right? It's, it doesn't have the lights on, and basically they're like, oh, you're killing the enzymes in the tomato because, you know, look, just look at the light, right? Now all the light is dead, right? Or the light is gone. But let me tell you this, right? You see your face right now? If I punch you right in your eye, I bet right now your face look all right. But after I hit you, it's going to look a little purple, maybe a little black. That's literally what they're doing on that tomato thing, right? It's just like, duh. That's what happens when you cook it. It's not low vibrational. It's actually even more digestible now, right? Because they don't understand cellulose and breaking that down, right? But anyway, that's generally where people come from. That's how they get the whole electric thing and they get hooked onto that sunlight, light energy type thing, right? People also mean non-hybrid foods when they say electric foods. They also mean like, you know it's god made it and, and man didn't have anything to do with it i don't want to get on that topic tonight because that's the topic for another video that i'm gonna do okay but that's what they are saying some some people right but for the most part it's just living food raw food food that hasn't been cooked and like alkaline food right right non-acid forming food mucusless food that type of thing so this is what people are talking about they're talking about enlightenment higher self they are obtaining some information some level that they just have never had before by eating raw food this is what people are talking about and that somehow is making them a better person that somehow is making them smarter more intelligent and more connected to spirit that's what people are saying when they mean high vibrational and electric food okay now let me just roll through these comments real quick before i go to the next one because all right so I've been following you since you were pressing black seed oil. I found you through the documentary. Ay, Dios mío, what? That is amazing. 
yeah that's fire i love that i love that i'm really happy about that actually yeah people don't know i used to press black seed oil that's why it's hilarious <laughs> when people like try to come for me and stuff properly raise beef and eggs and lighten me oh yeah every day every day they do foods that make you feel light but in reality you're just hungry yeah they make you feel floaty and light and you feel like you're a photon you feel like you're a part of you know sun energy or whatever but it's just an illusion and you're just dying or, or starving i never understood what the fuck electric foods meant you're earning you're earning gmo vegetables you pay too much for <laughs> you're eating gmo vegetables you pay too much for ain't no produce ever electrocuted me either so i'm confused yeah no i mean it literally is just them purposing to say that somehow because this food is not cooked and it's raw food that they're getting sunlight energy from it right so so this is the this is the rhetoric this is what they're saying all right so okay that was that was all of the comments right on that part so i just want to be very clear on the definition so that we don't start to go down paths where it's like you know oh this is what it really means nine times nine times out of ten that's what they're going to be talking about right so i understand where people are coming from in the sense of you're talking about in the mindset they're, they're talking about eating foods that is supposed to give them energy right and it's not going to give them the itis or make them sleepy and all these kind of things right it's supposed to help them so you know i can understand where they're trying to go with it it just doesn't make sense right i, I totally i totally understand what they're purposing to do however how do we relate this to food right and how do we relate this to eating meat and eating vegetables and all this kind of stuff when people say that something is high vibrational or it's electric and they purpose to come out with some you know oh eating meat is low vibrational you, you you're you're vibrating low when you eat meat you know and you're gonna die soon basically it's like hmm so it what is his name wild ketso brought this he asked this question i thought it was a really good question i wanted to ask it here too if you eat the meat that only eats the high vibrational food do you then become high vibrational too because the animal only ate high vibrational foods so if i'm eating the animal i should be high vibrational too <laughs> that should make the meat high vibrational i would think right people would be like no because it's death and this is where we start getting to this whole electric and living food part right because the vibration is the energy and and i get what people say when they mean low vibration or high vibration i get it but we have to also understand that these are energies and there really is no such thing as a low vibration being bad or a high vibration being good i can understand if you want to say low vibrations any unevolved state of it right because unevolved low vibration i get it causes chaos that kind of thing but low vibrations is the reason why you and i can see each other it's just dense matter you know low vibrations is what brings life into this world sex so let's not demonize low vibrations as though it's a bad thing it's not a bad thing all right it's just which spectrum are you, which end of the spectrum are you on basically right are you causing destruction or are you constructing with it it's, it's the same thing like high vibrations that's not good either right you can be so high vibrational that you're kind that you're condescending towards other people you are what, what is the thing like you're high-minded like you're um you're like pious and things like that high vibrational but you can also use that information that you have been enlightened with or whatever the whatever the information is you can also use that to help people so i don't get caught i don't get caught up in that whole like low vibration equals bad and high vibration equals good thing but that's exactly what's go excuse me what's going on here a word raw veganism is the final boss of <laughs> disordered eating <laughs> you said the final boss <laughs> you are hilarious very good point low doesn't equal bad or high doesn't equal good. it doesn't and that's so important that we understand that right because i've seen people eat quote unquote high vibrational food or be so high in their crown chakra and all this stuff all this all this energy stuff and they're stealing <laughs> you know like they're lying they have bad character you know and i've seen it with my own eyes and i'm just like what you know we can't get that we can't get that caught up in that so just wanted to say that as far as like the vibration and everything like that but when we talk about like a living food getting back into the death point right so people will say oh no that's not 
a high vibrating food even if the cow is eating only grass because you know and the grass is high vibration because it's still death right and we have to ask ourselves why do we think that death is low frequency right because technically a spirit is very high vibration right that's like it's gas <laughs> i mean technically right it's not low and dense like i'm not looking at a spirit look back at me technically it's not physical matter that i'm looking at right so it, it really doesn't make sense to me why we think that death is a low vibration or that death somehow is not a part of life or that death is bad when it really it is just a cycle in life and we all gonna be about it here so i don't i don't understand that part but that's what they that's what the idea is right it's the fact that death or anything similar is bad and so why would i want to be a part of that but here's the thing and I never really thought about this until recently when I just I was just like purposing to come up with things that would kind of like jar people and be like, wait a minute, what is this? Plants are dying from the moment they are ready to be eaten. And I know a lot of people don't think about that. But when you really stop and think about it, me, so a little bit more about me. I come from a background where my... Uh, my people grow food and hunt and trap and fish and always have for generations upon generations upon generations. I literally was just down there not long ago talking to them about the acres of land they had, the animals they had, how they used to milk the cows and, you know, slaughter the meat and cure the meat, whatever. Right. When you grow food for real. Yeah, Kanisha, you know. That's my cousin, y'all. <laughs> okay? When you grow food for real, two things are happening for the most part. One, you're having to figure out how can you stop nature from eating your food. And then number two, you have to consider that from the moment you take that vegetable or that fruit or whatever from the stem, from its source, it's dying. And really, even if you don't take it from the source, from the moment it's ripe and it's ready, it's dying. It is literally decaying and rotting right until it's time to go back into the soil. So the only thing that I could see is a living food technically is fresh food. Like if you just seconds ago put took that off the stem, okay, I can give that to you. It's alive technically, right? Uh, even meat, I would consider living food because for me, when I go to the butcher, the cow is right there. He's just slaughtered it not long ago. And the cow is right there and he's butchering it up, dividing out the parts, whatever I'm, I'm choosing. I consider that fresh food, living food. Kefir or kefir, I know some people say, I consider that living food because it's fermented, it's, back, it's live bacteria in that. I consider those things living foods. But to think that just because something is a plant, that it's a living food, or that it's electric, or that it's high vibrating just because it's a plant, is ridiculous and it's very ignorant because, like I said, how long was it from the time you got that vegetable to the time it got in your mouth? If you don't know, you're eating something dead. Congratulations. You played yourself. Like, if you don't know, you're eating something dead too. The plant is dying on your table, in your refrigerator. Like, no matter where you put it, it's dying. So there is no such thing as eating a living food in that way. It doesn't even make sense for real. You're talking about something that you're expecting just because it's not quote unquote meats that it's not decaying but even in like the bible they talk about plants being flesh right which is why so many people are like oh well, in the bible it says you know the 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 plants will be or you know the herbs or whatever will be meat for you and all this kind of stuff they considered it flesh plants have flesh too right it's the same thing that plant is dying just like you think that meat is dying it's the same thing so does food raise your frequency does food raise your frequency? No. Food does not raise your frequency. And when I say raise your frequency, I'm talking about like people thinking that they're going to somehow get this like enlightened trip out of food the way they do like, you know, mushroom shrooms or whatever. Like, you know, they. I'm not saying food isn't nourishing. Right. Food is very nourishing. The right food is very nourishing. But what I am saying is that you don't raise your frequency by eating the food. Right. And also, while Ketzel made this this great uh, point as well, I purpose to always give credit where it's due. You change and so your food changes. And it's literally that simple. 
you choose to be a better person or you choose to have different character or whatever you choose to make that choice and then you choose different food because you made a different choice it's not the food making you better as a person as your character in that way right i'm not saying there isn't a correlation between behavior and nutrition in the sense i'm not saying that but what i am saying though is that you're i'm not going like oh i want to be a better person let me eat this bell pepper i'm not doing that right it's like it's not that it's that you know what i choose to make healthier decisions let me choose some grass-fed meat let me choose you know this bell pepper let me choose this over here because it was grown this way it has this kind of source life right and so by choosing better ingredients by choosing different foods i am able to 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 like be healthier i'm able to get those proper fats in my brain i'm understand anyways but <laughs> that's what it is right so and i just almost lost my thought all right so you're not you're not raising your vibration your vibration because you're eating the food that's not how that works the food isn't even giving you anything because a lot of people don't even understand this either is that like you have to break down the food in order to get the energy right like you do understand that <laughs> your body when you chew it your body has to break it down through various ways whether it's saliva stomach acid all these different components going into breaking that food down and when you absorb it now you're able to actually get that get that uh, nutrition into your body and see your bloodstream and all that kind of stuff right but just because you eat a quote-unquote good food doesn't mean that it's going to actually get into your body it doesn't work like that you don't just eat it and it's just somehow there it doesn't work like that so you can even if it doesn't matter what kind of grain you could be eating grass fed and all that kind of stuff but if your digestion is messed up then you're not even breaking down that food like you should to even absorb the minerals and the nutrients like you should and that's something almost like people don't even think about they think just because you're eating a quote-unquote high vibrational electric food that somehow that you know that's just gonna magically appear into your body and it just does not work like that it doesn't <laughs> all right so here's the thing right all in all high vibrational foods is really just something and electric foods because i believe Sabi coined that term these are marketing tactics this has nothing to do with health these are straight up marketing tactics when i was in that lifestyle okay one of the most difficult and just in business and marketing in general one of the most difficult things you to do is to find the keywords that people use not that you want them to use but keywords that people use themselves so that you can pop up in the algorithm so that your information can be found okay and oftentimes the words that people use they're getting these words from influencers whether it be youtube whether it be social media whatever they're getting these words from other people so when savy hit the scene and was doing his whole thing and everybody all of a sudden now electric alkaline food right living food and all this kind of stuff the whole raw vegan community living food right and then it became like high vibrational food and all this kind of stuff some fire food not just all this made up crap and it's just like what i found myself ha going between like i don't really want to use those terms but it's like if i don't use it then people won't watch my content right it's just like it's just like what i do now right what i do now is i use very eye-catching like what which way is she trying to go with this words and things like that so that it can get people's attention right that that's what i do so that's what they're doing they are marketing to you they're marketing their products to you right high vibrational electric living food is a marketing scheme you are being sold to period because those things don't exist food is food junk is junk you should there is no such thing as a high vibrational food like you're just eating quality nutrients nutritious food period i mean it's just that simple so don't be like oh you know you, you got to eat high vibrational foods and stuff like that it's like well let me ask you this how are you measuring that vibration of that food didn't think i would ask you that huh <laughs> you know it's like people don't think past that part most people are a marketing lifestyle when in reality they're selling detoxes yeah no facts 
most people are selling something right and it's just like i was just listening to this other lady um that i'll have on a little later she was talking about how she's no longer vegan and and how when she was having issues on the vegan diet she started to like oh what detox do i need to take and all this kind of stuff and it's like you cannot detox your way from malnutrition you can't do it you cannot detox your way from malnutrition you know most people are marketing lifestyle yeah and they're marketing lifestyle you know that's why they have coach on their stuff because they don't want to say hey i'm not certified to actually like sell you this stuff i don't have any lineage that i'm that i'm from i don't have any institution that i've actually been certified from that's not online just some shit that you're remembering right i don't know how to tailor this specific detox to your nutritional needs to your body to what you need i don't know how to do that so what i will do is just say hey follow my journey <laughs> what i will do is just say hey, i'll be a coach i'll be a wellness coach or whatever i'll be something whatever that i can say so i can just get by and i don't have to be questioned about my my uh credibility my, my credibility is not in question right now because i'm saying these words and i'm using these things you know and it's really sad it's really really sad because the thing is is that it's so much it's it's so much more that goes into these things than we really realize than well they really realize right but people are marketing a lifestyle and people are buying that lifestyle like i put up there the powerpuff girls which i thought was freaking hilarious like shame on y'all if y'all didn't laugh at that i don't know what to tell you but it was hilarious right and i said how these health conscious you know charlatans trick black people and i'm specifically talking about black people because this is my experience in the quote-unquote black health is con you know conscious health community or whatever but they use trauma okay black trauma or white trauma whatever trauma you got they using it trauma all right metaphysics or spirituality and religion combined with their version of history which is oftentimes some made-up unchecked bull you know and then the attraction of money that's the one that really gets people is be and that's why i went to that with that lifestyle is because people are like oh you're detoxing or you're eating plant-based and you're vibrating high and then they, they hit you with money got a frequency you need to vibrate on the same frequency as money and all this kind of stuff and so now you're like oh well, i need to vibrate high because i want to attract all the money to me you know and that's how they get you they get you with all of the, the with the with the four hitter quitters i believe i call them trauma metaphysics or spirituality and religion some made up history and money that's how they get you and they fear monger you from being like oh hey watch out for this watch out for that oh did you know you die if you do this like all this kind of stuff just to get you to, to buy their products right and that's what's going on so just uh wrapping this up i, I do want to talk very briefly briefly about when we talk about vibrations right and they say people are vibrating low or not they're eating meat or that type of thing i have to really ask them because i've seen people say this and it's like really well-known people who've got like over 400 500k followers and all these kind of things but they like really what is the word they promote or kind of hint that they do like orisha practice right or like they're in some type of african religion or something like that but it's like kind of interesting because it's just like how are you into african religion or spirituality and then calling people who eat meat low vibrational when you're sacrificing animals in that in that system you're eating the meat <laughs> i mean i don't understand like <laughs> i just don't get it i always wonder why so many of the charlatans you talked about were indian guard you know what that's a great question probably because with the new ages and i'm just i'm just throwing out an opinion here but because of this whole like new ageism and i call it new ageism because it's basically just like i'm gonna take a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of that and a little bit of that but it's nothing that's tried and true and it's not an actual system that people have done for thousands of years that can get results for real it's just a bunch of oh i'm gonna vibrate high so chakras and then it's a bunch of like you know metaphysical oh you got 12 nerves in your brain and it's 12 zodiac signs in the sky you know all this kind of stuff and then <laughs> it's like what they're, they're just taking a little bit of everything so they either got a dashiki on or some or they're wearing indian garb because it makes them look 
more spiritual because we know and we associate Indian garb and dashikis with more spiritual people. You know, it's just, it just is what it is. Like, people just play those games like that. So I don't, you know, I, other than that, I don't really know. But I do want to, <laughs> I do want to really get people to understand, like, I, and I'm not saying you can't, like, say high vibration or whatever. Because I understand what people mean by that when they're just talking, right? I get that from a common sense. But for me, I purpose to speak to where people can't infer or assume what I'm saying. I prefer, I prefer to be direct. So we don't have those little in-betweens and misunderstandings. And people really just got to understand that, like, if somebody's in, in your face or, or spewing out some information saying that you should eat high vibrational electric foods, they don't know what they're talking about. And they're not accounting for all of the variables. Right. So it's just like um, I believe she might be in here. I was just Nikki holistic or something like that. She brought up a point early in the comments and she was saying how uh, just saying eat meat kind of like a catch-22 because then you're not saying go grass-fed and get better quality meat not just go to the store or what have you and I, I i get what she was saying with that however when people say go vegan or when people say eat plants they're not telling you you need to soak that soak those beans nuts and seeds for at least 48 hours so you can sprout those bad boys they don't they don't tell you that so that they can you know get the actual nutrition from it they're not telling you you, you should cook the hell out of that kale <laughs> because you can't digest it any other way, right? Like they're, they're, they're not telling you these things. Um, but I don't really talk to just always explain. It's, it's to really more so to get people to to be interested, right? But like I said, if anybody's telling you that you can that you can raise your vibration with food, they're lying and they don't know what they're talking about. It's just that simple. Like I said, if you can raise your vibration with food, then show me the measuring stick or whatever that you use to determine this is high and this is low because if you don't have it then everything you're saying is just like a romanticized idea it sounds very good but it really doesn't have any root in reality right and that's unfortunately where people start to go down not even just vegans like a lot of people do this regardless if they're vegan or not but specifically the electric high vibrational people they go down this road of just like you know, this, this these all sound great. And I'm just going to say a lot of stuff that sounds deep. And really, it's not hitting on nothing. You can't apply that. This is earth. You know, I believe once again, it was Wild Kitsaw who was like, you know, people spend. It's of my also belief also that people come to people come to earth in order to experience this earth. Right. We come here for this experience, for this human experience. And yet you have people that get here. And they spend their entire time trying to ascend from the very experience they chose to come to. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. You just want to disappear and not be here? That makes no sense on a vibrational. I'm not talking about like depression and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about on a energetic level, right? You want to be so high vibrating that you want to ascend out of here. And I don't really think people understand that oftentimes a lot of these, you know, doctrines or whatnot is about how to die. But of course, people don't read, <laughs> you know, like they don't read. They're just kind of like, OK, I'm going to just do whatever. Like, this sounds great. I'm going I'm to vibrate high. But like I said, spirits are very high vibrate, vibrational, very high vibrational. So what you're going to vibrate yourself out of here when i was vegan like literally the last day i was vegan before i ate the fish i felt like i was floating and when i ate that fish the first thing that i felt was like this gust of wind that just kind of like hit me it was just like boom just like something literally had pushed me and i was just like oh my fucking gosh that was my damn spirit I was high vibrational, all right, almost dying, <laughs> you know, like people don't consider those things again because it's just romanticized ideology, but it's not anything that has been put into practice and people don't understand how new veganism is to this earth, right? I also don't do the whole carnivore thing, but I think that's, you know, at least you're getting some kind of nutrition, right? At least you're getting nutrition with that. I'm more of the omnivore type person, you know, um, more so just focusing on cooked foods and 
soaked and sprouted and fermented foods if I'm going to eat greens or whatever. But, you know, I, I just I, I'm just not into like just only eating meat. I like certain vegetables. I like my cornbread and I'm not going to stop. So <laughs> I'm going to just keep that where it is. People would say they're closer to God. Yeah, they are closer to God because they're about to die. So it's true. Yeah, they definitely are closer to God because they're about to die pretty soon. They'll be out, you know, and or losing their mind or causing really extreme, crazy damage to their body. So there is no such thing as high vibrational foods, electric foods. And I know it's a lot of popular people who promote that. But you got to realize, too, and something that was a hard hitter for me is that people do anything for money. I've literally watched people who are vegan chefs and next thing you know, they're eating meat. They have no problem going right back out there and being like, yeah, veganism is the way, even though they're eating meat. I knew people who even ate honey and it's just like, yeah, honey is like, oh, it's not that bad. But it's like if your vegan honey comes from a bee, the, 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 the honey is going to mix with the stomach acid, the bee vomit, boom, you got honey. I think it's delicious. However, that's still some animal food. You know, it's just like, you know, and, and then you got some people who won't even check ingredients of their food and it'll have eggs and milk and stuff in it. I've seen it with my own eyes. Right. I've I've I know people who promote trainers who would promote vegan diets and all that kind of stuff. And then next thing you know, they're eating salmon and go back to work the next day and talk about veganism. These people are liars. Not everybody. I'm not saying everybody is, but a lot of people are. So it's just like when you see somebody thriving and they only promote electric and alkaline food, because I'll tell you right now, an electric diet long term will destroy you as a woman. It will take all of your fat. It will mess up your cycle because you need those things to make proper sex hormones. Men too, but I'm not a man, so I can't speak for what happens to y'all for the most part. I just know that y'all be out here looking super dry and y'all think just because you're shredded, and you can see your abs and you look all defined and that's a good thing. But really, you're losing essential fats, you know, and it's not a good thing. It's really bad. But I don't know exactly what goes on with the men and all that kind of stuff. But as a woman, you will lose that cycle, baby. It will become irregular. Next. Yes, next video got to be about vegan pregnancy. <sighs> that's fine. <laughs> I'll bear the cross. You're right. I did a video actually with and kids being vegan. Yeah, you're right. I did a video with my midwife, Tiffany Townsend, and she's a she's a whole midwife out here, y'all. Not only is she a midwife and she's certified with it, she's also been into indigenous uh, tribes and trained there too in Mexico. And I'm telling you, even she was like, yeah, the worst clients are vegans because you have to be so scientific with getting everything in. And who's really doing that for real? Come on. And even no matter how scientific you are, you still aren't getting everything from plants because you can't even digest those, you know, the, the nutrients in the plants without what I learned, saturated fats. Shout out to Makeda Valletta for that one, right? You need it. That's why people put butter on broccoli so they can absorb what the broccoli is giving. And I never knew that. I thought it was only just for taste, but it's not. Our people are very smart, and I find it very sad that, you know, these charlatans make, they don't make them, but they really influence people to deny the wisdom of their grandmothers, or their great-grandmothers. They push you to deny their wisdom and make you feel like they don't know what they're talking about. So that now you can believe everything they have to tell you, and it's really sad. It's really, really sad. You'll be walking around thinking your grandma doesn't know what she's talking about. So one day you open up and you're like, dang, my grandma is 94. Mine is 94. You know, and she ate bacon and eggs every morning. <laughs> you know, so come on. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's mostly what I wanted to talk about when it comes to the vibrational. Uh, oh, yeah. Last thing. Very quickly. I did want to say. Because I saw when I was looking at I wanted to get definitions for the electric thing. Cause it's been a while since I've been in that in that circle i just wanted to be sure i knew what i was talking about when i gave the definitions and i saw sabi say that the electric biomineral diet cell diet or whatever is for african people it's it's african food it's feeding the african genome that's what he said and i just want to really point out how ridiculous that is like 
and and I know people be all in their feelings because they're like, oh, he's an elder and his intentions were good. And it's like, what do they say about good intentions, though? Say that the road as hell is to pay is paved with good intentions. Sounds like it's a lot of good people going to hell. I'm not saying I, I'm into all that, but I'm just saying. Just off of the saying, right? But feeding the African genome. Whether you agree you're African or not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what he's talking about. And specifically... Sebi doesn't know what Africans eat, and he didn't know what Africans eat, right? Because he's transitioned now. He didn't know what Africans ate. So we have to stop acting like these people who sit before us and give us all these long-ass lectures about Africans and what Africans did. They've never been to Africa. I have. They have never initiated into any system. They've never probably cooked or ate the food. They haven't talk to any traditional healer, learn from them, or anything. They're reading books and Googling and then telling you what they think Africa is and all this kind of stuff. They're making stuff up. Let me tell you something. Majority of Africans that I know, and I've met many different tribes, majority of them that I know have dishes and spiritual traditions that they have passed down for generations upon generations before colonization before colonization not after colonization and that's when the white man came and started eating meat no <laughs> no as omar said y'all giving them too much credit no okay they have these dishes and these medicines and things that they have passed down from generation to generation to generation and they eat meat and they was eating meat before colonizers came and they eating meat after they eating meat okay they are prizing the organs, all right? And if they are doing some type of spiritual work, then oftentimes they are giving whatever parts of that animal needs to be given to that deity or whatever or what have you. And then they're eating and cooking the rest and feeding it to the village. And that's really just how it goes. So when people start to talk about Africa and they start to say that Africans never ate meat or we didn't originally eat meat and all that kind of stuff, it's a lie. Don't believe that crap. And don't believe that you can't be high and don't believe that you can't be uh spiritual and eat meat it's ridiculous right so next time somebody says that you can just tag them on this video and i'll just talk to them because it's almost like talking to a brick wall when you purpose to tell somebody that what they're doing is ridiculous but i bet when you tell them them plants are dying from the day that they cut it off the stem i bet that'll maybe ring some bells though right because the plants are dead by the time you put it in that pot and start to cook it or that pan and start to cook it if you don't know how long it's been off the stem. You're eating just as dead food as you would that meat. So let's not be on high horses because I was once on one and it's a very long way down. So uh, that's that's all I had to say. I do want to say before I wrap up, make sure you go check out self-care self -care regulations. Like I said, it is a restoration of harmony in health and it gives you the power to get in tune with your body without doctrine without dogma and without manipulation right and if i hear anybody say that i'm coming for you you better give me credit for that one because i made that up and it took a while blood and fat have always been the highest offering you can give any deity this is tried and true in every culture since the dawn of time that is true that is true it's always been the highest blood and fat even in like you know what in Leviticus or whatever and I always just reference the Bible because that's what most people are, are familiar with right if I represent if I reference something else and you have no idea it just kind of goes over your head but what they say the life is in the blood and when the, the Levites would give the the offerings right to their deity boom it would take the fat generally right or certain meats that they would have to do in flour and all this kind of stuff you know it's just it's very interesting but like but like you said yeah it's it literally is the highest offering you can offering you can give any deity so where do you get fat and blood from you don't get it from plants i know they say plants have fats or whatever but y'all know what i'm talking about i'm talking about butter i'm talking about grease okay in hindu the they do a hell of a lot of blood sacrifice just not cows they even adorn the images of gods with ghee I saw that on a Bollywood film that I watched called Bahubali. Great, great, great movie, by the way. Uh, one and two. I, I really enjoyed both of them. 
However, yeah, I saw that they, they they were doing like blood sacrifices and all that kind of stuff in there before they would go to war. So, I mean, it's just a lot of people that are ignorant and they don't really know. They don't do any type of research. They just believe people on YouTube. And people on YouTube don't know what they're talking about, right? So, I just, that's it. That's all I got to say. Um, I appreciate everybody for tuning in, for listening. Make sure you share this if you haven't already. Make sure you get the book, Self-Care Regulations. The link is in the bio. It is normally $27. I will make sure that it's $17 to everybody that have already purchased the book or have already you know, told you that you're getting the book. Don't worry. You are getting the new book. I just want to be sure that I have everything together, like I said, for those charts when I give it to you um, so that you can be a part of the self-care uh, challenge that I'll be doing a little later. So that's it if you guys have any uh live recommendations that you would like me to do please feel free to comment them or message me and i will i'll check into it i can't promise that i'll do them all but i will do my best to get as many as i can and uh, i appreciate you all so like i said check out the book self-care regulations and i'll see you next time Mwah.